My name is Marty Jeffson, and I'm a freshman here. And today, I'm going to talk to you all about the benefits of reading. Now, first things first, this might not come to a surprise to you all, but reading does benefit your brain, and it will positively affect your life. So, we read all the time, all day, every day, whether when you're driving and you see a stop sign, that's uh, images going through your mind, cycling, and uh, with psychology terms I'm not going to go over right now, you, it transmits to your brain and you read. But what I'm talking about is reading on your own for pleasure and for fun. And reading affects you in a positive uh, state of mind because it actually prevents memory loss and depression, first off. Second off, it, it helps improve your concentration. And third off, it helps uh, you improve your empathy and it can help you achieve your life goals. So the first thing I want to talk about is memory loss and depression. So there were, I'm going to talk to you about two studies. The first study is there were 300 participants of older age, and the ones who read had showed that they had a slower um, memory decline as they got older. So they were able to keep their memory as they continued to grow older because of the reading that they were doing throughout their life. The second study I want to talk to you about is self-help books. So there are millions of genres out there for books. You can narrow it down to really specific things, but I'm talking about more broad. So we have uh, mystery books, we have more comedic books, but there's also a genre called self-help books, which can help people during tough times and who can really help them try to find a new perspective of their life. And the study shows that people who have read these types of books, actually it helps them throughout their daily life because they're able to incorporate that the lessons they learn throughout those books into their life. Now the second thing I want to talk to you about with reading is how it improves our concentration. So when you read, our brains become stimulated. And what that means is that it kind of gets the engines going. It kind of, it's, so our brain needs exercises just like our physical bodies do. We are always taught that we need to exercise, that we need to walk outside, we need to go to the weight room, which is completely true. But our brain also needs exercise. It's not good for us to be staring in front of a TV um, all the time. And so that's why those who read really are able to see the benefits because what it also does, is it also helps us get more sleep because what I like to do is I like to read every night and uh, it really, sometimes I've read in the middle of a chapter and that doesn't mean that the book's bad, it just means because my brain is having a workout, it means that I'm able to get a better night's sleep. And when, we think, when we're reading, we have to think, we have to stay engaged, we have to know which character is doing what and what the plot is, which helps us concentrate and which could help us incorporate that into class. And the last thing I want to talk about is empathy and life goals. And for this last one, I'm going to relate this to an example, to a real life example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this to the Harry Potter series because I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to assume that most of you all have know about the Harry Potter series, whether that's through actually reading them or seeing the movies. So what books do is they go into depth with different characters. We're able to see perspectives of different characters, whether we like it or not. So for example, everyone knows the character of Malfoy, and if you don't, I'm just letting you know that he is the antagonist. We don't, we're not a huge fan of Malfoy, which is okay, but we're forced to step outside of our comfort zone, and we're forced to see the perspective through his eyes, which is not a comfortable thing for us to do, but it's good because we're not always going to see eye to eye with everybody in life. And when we step out of our comfort zone, we get a new, we get a new perspective of how things are done. It's not good to be closed-minded in life, and that's how books really can affect us in a, in a positive manner. And the last thing it does is it inspires us because we're able to see these stories of how Harry goes through being an orphan, not having any parents, and how he's able to work his way up through life with a good attitude, and that really can give us motivation to know that no matter what obstacles come in our life that we're able to overcome it and we're able to achieve our goals. And through reading we're able to really ins inspire ourselves because we're able to s put ourselves in the shoes of the characters and we're able to see that we can do anything. And all of those are the benefits of reading.